Okay, first you have to import your flag image into the project. So click in this empty area and select your flag image. I have a flag.png file which is a image of a flag with the transparent background. And now I'm gonna click the flag.png file and drag it to the new cop button to create a composition which is which has the same dimensions of that flag. Uh, background of the composition is color green. So I have a flag composition. Let's make another comp. Name it noise and size should be similar to the flag and color should be something like green. Okay. Now add a solid layer to the new composition. Okay. Then go to effects, noise and green, fractals. Now we have a noise added to the newly created layer. Let's uh, change its properties. Reduce the complexity to two. Go to transform. Here untick uniform scaling and give the scale height 2000. Okay. Now we have to animate this uh, texture, actually this noise layer. So for that uh, click the offset turbulence animation button. Here we have the little uh, time stop like icon. Then click the solid green layer and press E U keyboard U keyboard button U then you get the animated property of the solid green layer. Here we have the offset turbulence. We have to animate X value of the offset turbulence. First uh, take it time slider to the end of the time. I have 30 seconds and change the X offset turbulence to 16,000. Okay. Now you can see the uh, noise layer is animated. Now we have to create another uh, comp. Name it noise and flag. Because so I'm going to uh, import flag layer and the noise layer into the composition. Keep in mind the noise layer should be on top of the flag layer. And we should give a Bending mode to the noise layer. Uh, click the toggle switch mode. Then uh, go to the modes and select subtract. So you can see the noise is uh, layer is applied to the flag. Still, we have to remove the unwanted areas. So we have to draw a mask on top of the noise. So select the noise layer and select the paint tool. Let's draw a a mask around the flag. Uh, while you're drawing, you can move, move actually pan your know, uh, flag using middle mouse button and zoom it using mouse wheel. Uh, if you make a mistake while drawing, you can undo that by just uh, using Control Z, normal undo shortcut. Uh, let's start uh, the uh, mask drawing, and I'm going to fast forward from here to uh, because it will take some time. Okay, our first mask is complete, but we have to add another mask to remove some certain areas in the middle of the flag. So let's remove this area. Just click the this uh, little arrow to reveal mask. We have uh, one mask, and let's add another mask. Let's create another mask while the paint tool is selected, and we'll see there will be another mask created. And we have to remove this area. So Go to the blending mode of that mask and uh, select it as subtract. Okay. Let's remove this area as well. This, this is also something should add a mask. Okay. Let's remove this part as well. Okay, roughly. Okay. Now we complete the 
completed creating the mask. Now we have to create another composition. Let's go to new composition and create a composition called animation. Okay. Let's import noise and flag copy to that animation composition and I'm going to add a new adjustment layer which is on top of the noise and flag and also I'm going to add the noise layer at the bottom. Select the adjustment layer and go to effects and here in distortion you will have the displacement map effect and select the noise layer as the displacement map layer. Here give max horizontal displacement at 20 as 20 and vertical as 20. Values are depending on, on your preferences. So you can see in the background there is a gray area which is the second noise layer we added to the uh, our animation composition. Let's uh, remove, let's uh, turn off the visibility to that. Okay, here we have uh, created some sort of animation animating flag. Now uh, you can add a flag pole to this. Uh, will be uh, this is a little bit slow because buffering takes time. Buffering, I don't know what this rendering uh, takes a little time. Anyway, uh, let's add the flag pole. Uh, let's double click on the entity, and I have a small uh, flag pole I found on uh, internet and drag it on top of the flag and scale it. Very ugly flag pole. It's okay for now. Uh, let's do some adjustment. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, let's create another composition. Let's see what will happen. Fine. And put that uh, animation composition into that. And now let's scale down this a little bit. And now try to add the flag pole. I have this very ugly looking flag pole. You can actually get a better one than this. Okay. Yeah, here. Uh, if you want, you can actually make it look like a little bit 3D effect. Uh, for that, create another composition. 3D animation. Okay. We got the final. <laughs> this is obviously not final. So let's import the final and click the switch uh, toggle switch mode. And here we have to toggle the 3D layer. And our 3D layer will be, layer will be 3D. And let's rotate a little bit. And yeah. Let's move it a little bit down. Yes. Okay. You can see it's very nicely animated. I don't know, you can add smoke effect, you can move the flag. Uh, I created a very nice uh, transition effect using that. Uh, I will show you to create that later in later tutorials. Keep watching my tutorials. Thank you.